Hello, my name is Carl Valeri, and this is the Stuck Mike Avcast. Today, I have a special guest with me. His name is David English, and uh, he has a really interesting website that I was just uh, was reviewing. Hi, David. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Carl? Great, great. Hey, why don't you just tell us a little bit about uh, your website, The Inner Art of Airmanship, and uh, what you're trying to promote there. Sure. It's something I started writing uh, about 10 years ago. It's at www.pilot psy.com and it's not about the, the the technical features of one airplane or one type of flying it's more trying to discover what connects all pilots whether they're flying helicopters or gliders or 747s and it's looking at the um, the acquisition of, of piloting expertise at what airmanship is and more importantly, how how we can all um, improve improve it. Well, that's great. You know, it's interesting. As I was going through your website, I, I really could relate to a lot of a lot of what you were saying. And something people don't realize, especially uh, those pilots that don't have as much experience, that we can all learn from everybody. And, and mm -hmm. we all, if we truly want to master something, we really want to master the basics. And we want to. We want to actually go out there and try to learn from everyone. I, and I had an instance uh, where I was just with a, a young flight instructor who, uh, or a newly minted flight instructor, and he taught me something. Here he only had 700 mm -hmm. hours, I had 7,000 hours. I was like, wow, this really relates to what you're saying on your website. And, uh, and just tell us a little bit about that, about how you started this journey. It was a really interesting journey, how you got to this, uh, the inner art of airmanship. Right. Um, oh, about 15 years ago or so, I was flying for a regional airline. And I'd been fine a long time, and it was starting to get routine. I was starting not to appreciate it. It was uh, it was kind of a grind, and I was looking for uh, a little more excitement. Um, and, and I was thinking of going skydiving, which mm -hmm. I've actually still haven't been skydiving. <laughs> um, but I went to an airport, and it was a, a very small general aviation airport, and there was a student. As it turned out, she was a student and she was landing and she just did a fantastic job. And her uh, her instructor there, uh, Sam, ended up getting me excited again about aviation and, and realizing that it, it's something that everybody who, who does well knows that you never finish. If, if, if you get 80% on the test, if you get your license, uh, that's not enough. You need to keep learning, keep growing. There's always something more you can learn. And uh, he, he got me excited again and I flew with him several times and uh, he set me on a path that uh, I've, I've gotten, um, been a psychology graduate student, I've talked with expert pilots, I've, I've read a lot of books about uh, um, the ancient martial arts tradition that actually now um, dovetails very nicely with modern neuroscience. It's amazing the connections that that can be made very easily. Interesting, interesting. The uh, you know it, what, what's interesting too is how they're, they're, that's very technical at what you're mm -hmm. talking about and all that research. But what what you've done that's different is you've been able to take those theories and actually make me or make anybody else that isn't really into psychology. And right. make them understand those and also be able to apply them to life but but there's two things that I took away from this website that that really uh -huh. I really enjoyed and maybe you could speak towards that is is number one it because I also fly for the airlines and my captain it brought back that mm -hmm. passion for flying it, it brings that mm -hmm. passion out but it also it, it made me look into myself and say what am I doing you know I try to do that on every flight say hey what could I do better that type of thing mm -hmm. but it makes me realize how important that is and uh, and I think that if if more people especially folks that are getting bored with flying would just go to this mm -hmm. website and say hey you know I need to read this and and I actually if after reading this you're not passionate about flying maybe you should try something else you know <laughs> because it really right. it, it, even people that don't fly would be become uh -huh. passionate just by, by relating to uh, this well, website. I, 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 <laughs> Thank you for your kind words, Carl. But yeah, passion is, is, is very important because if you're, if you're good at something, you tend to enjoy it. If you enjoy something, you're going to work more at it and it becomes a, a, a virtuous uh, circle. And 
you, you sometimes you need to ignite the passion. Sometimes you need the, the the old advice of go get a seaplane rating or go get a glider rating. It's it's valid, but there's lots of things. If if you're getting bored reading the FARs or reading the uh, operating manual, learn more about the weather and not necessarily the FAA text on the weather that you've read before. But there are books and videos. Uh, to to learn deeper about the weather and then when you go flying you'll notice it something you might not have noticed before and now that's interesting and no oh, I didn't notice that before but now I see it and you learn more and and it just becomes more enjoyable I think you get out of something often what you put in and unfortunately you got to sometimes force yourself to put in some of the effort and the next flight or, or later it will be returned uh, back sure. to you sure and and you know you talk about that passion and that mastery just like uh by going back and learning things that we we sometimes mm -hmm. like you know you start talking about weather etc I, I think there's a lot of folks that haven't even opened those books in years but you'd be right. surprised uh you know i've gone back and said wow you know there's something i didn't know and and, mm -hmm. and trying to master something if you, you just pick up that book and you look and you say wow there's one thing i learned then it's worth it. It's worth picking up that right. book and reading it. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> you know it. it, 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 it <laughs> I'm now, old, and I, I guess I used to know that. Maybe I did, but I didn't appreciate. I didn't understand it. Um, right. The you do if you look at it again and you go fly it, and the, the, this isn't new. This is something that people um, the, that are race car drivers or sports psychology people that have gotten very good at something. They, they share a common set of behaviors that is, is easy to do. It, you just actually have to go out and do it, and, and you start reading about it and go, well, that's not so bad. I can do that. And it's worthwhile because otherwise you're, just gonna, you're flying around and you're bored. It's, it's not that exciting. And if you can make it more interesting, then you get better at it. And if you start getting better at something, then it's more exciting. Oh, sure. Let me let me ask you something else just to get off the topic just slightly. I know mm -hmm. when I'm flying that uh, in an airliner, I'm looking down and a lot of times I'm pretending I'm in my 182. I don't know. <laughs> if, have you ever done that where, you, where you're sitting there in the plane and you're looking down saying to yourself, wow, gosh, I wish I was down there enjoying the scenery, flying along that mm -hmm. little river there. Uh, I don't right. know if you've ever had those type of experiences because I'm, I'm sure oh, you sure. fly around the world. But um, and, and I think you even mentioned that in, in, in this uh in the inner art of airmanship i think that was part of your art one of your articles there which this website actually reads somewhat like a book or or a, a pamphlet magazine and mm -hmm. it, it's nice to wander through that it's actually um it, to me very enjoyable it uh but it also makes me learn something one of the things that i took away from this and the biggest thing before you know you know, I'd like to conclude in this, and then I'd like you to, to tell us what you are trying to do with this website and why someone mm -hmm. should go to this website. Uh, but, but to me, when I went to this website, I said to myself, you know, or started thinking about, I, when I get in an airplane, I'm either flying the airplane and being a pilot, or mm -hmm. I'm part of that airplane. Because when I was younger, I dreamed of being... A bird and I tried flapping my arms and all and I couldn't fly mm -hmm. well I went to the airport and learned how to fly an airplane but there's many times when I get into the plane that I'm not feeling like I'm part of it but there's times when I feel like I've mastered this plane and my wings have become part of me just like the bird doesn't think about their wings because mm -hmm. they're part of the bird now this plane has become part of me and that's when I knew that I truly mastered that plane that uh -huh. day and I'm constantly trying to to get that feeling back, and that's what was great about this website. And uh, so that's what I got out of it. I was like, gosh, this brought back some of that passion, some of that. I'm mm -hmm. going to go out today. I have to do a flight review with a student. Today I'm going to go out, and I'm thinking to myself, what could I do better to mm -hmm. better master my ability to teach this person? So that's what that's where it's helped me. Now, what what other ways are you trying, other than what I just described, trying to help other people uh, with this website? You know, what what type of benefits would people get from this, from reading this? Yeah, I I, I think there's, there's there's several different areas, and it, it's more written uh, for myself to try to understand what uh, what I saw with Sam at the airport, and it becomes an exploration 
and and if other people are getting stuff out of it that's 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 very cool and some of it does sound sort of like pop psychology mm -hmm. um, but it's not and and some of it's kind of funny you know caddy shack be be the bull be the bull danny <laughs> and it sounds kind of well that's kind of goofy right. but there's an element where that really does work and if you watch uh, the uh, the blue angels sometimes some of the videos show the blue angels not when they're marching out to the airplanes or not when they're pulling G's but before that they brief the flight and they don't just talk about what they're going to do the sequence but they're sitting together in a room their eyes are closed their hands are doing the fighter pilot maneuvers but they are going through the entire sequence in their mind and when they go fly it they're flying what they've already practiced and there is when you for just a few moments at a time sometimes you really do become one with the airplane with the wind with with gravity and flying and you're not sitting pushing buttons and pulling levers and trying your best and I think that's sort of okay but all that falls away and you're looking at the runway and it, it seems so easy well I'm just gonna turn downwind I'm gonna turn base turn final I'm gonna land and it's that exciting, and you you you, you get that uh, just a few times, a few moments of of really feeling connected. Um, and if there's and and if people, if more people find that, then I, I'd be really really happy. And it turns out there are a few concrete steps that you can take to make that feeling more likely. And people get it when they dance, and people get it when they. Uh, drive race cars. It's not something weird or, or crazy. Um, it's something people have experienced for a long time, and certainly, it's. Um, I, I can't think of a better way to experience it than being in an airplane and flying around the sky. Oh man, boy! You know, and I, uh, in in closing, I think that everybody should go out. If if nothing else, go out to your website and and read it for for the entertainment value first mm -hmm. and, and that's basically where I started with your website and, and then what happened is it led me down this path of a little bit more inner awareness so so go out there you could read it once just for their entertainment number two you will also I think get so much out of your website Dave and again that's inner air of uh, inner art of airmanship and now mm -hmm. how can they how can they find you what ways can uh, folks um well they can go to the uh, the uh, modestly titled DaveEnglish.com, D-A-V-E-E-N-G-L-I-S-H.com, and click through to Inner Art of Airmanship, or directly PilotPSY.com. And it's, it doesn't have any pop-ups, doesn't have any commercials, it's just me rambling. Um, I, I thought to myself, and I'm glad there's people, uh, uh, people reading, uh, trying to explain something that I think we've all experienced a few times, but how can we experience it more more often? Right. The uh, well, we'll be looking for the book, uh, Dave, uh, when it comes <laughs> out. <laughs> I actually yeah, sure cool. hope you do turn it into one because it, it's something that I think people uh, similar to like you know uh, Jonathan Livingston Siegel is something that could inspire mm -hmm. a lot of folks to to fly or that are flying to, to get out of doldrums and get out there and and really. Try to become uh, a better airman, a uh, better pilot. Wow, that, that that sounds great, but you can read it for free now. You can do it for free, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else, Dave, that we, we can uh, say to our, our listeners here? In the no, I, no I, I think I've talked about myself. Well, well I appreciate it. And, and, and like I said, uh, uh, this is Carl Valera with the Stuck Mike Avcast. And if you get a chance, uh, just jump on uh, Inner Art of Airmanship, Dave English, PilotPSY.com. I think you'll really enjoy reading this, uh, and uh, people that don't fly, even I think you'll enjoy reading this, and you might want to uh, start flying. Thanks so much, Dave, and uh, hope to talk to you soon again. Fantastic, enjoyed it, Carl. Thank you. <laughs>